Hey, it's Rachel here from Offroad TC, and today I've got a brand new bike to tell you about. Now, last week, Ken Cycles dropped by to show me their new e gravel bike. So, this is the Ken Cycles e Adventure V2. Mike and Matt from Ken Cycles were due to come down, go for a ride, and tell me all about their new bike. I also wanted to film them on video so you can get all the news and details of that new bike straight from the horse's mouth. But unfortunately, our meeting was planned for that day last week when there was 50 mile an hour winds and so much rain. So as you can tell, our ride and the video just didn't happen. Instead, we took to a cafe and over a coffee, Mike and Matt told me all about the new bike. So in this video, there'll be photos that I took of that bike and details from them. And then when you want a full review, they're sending a bike to Matt. So our reviewer, Matt Page, who's ridden some other e-gravel bikes as well as normal gravel bikes, will have a full review of that as soon as the bike's ready to come to us. If you haven't heard of Cairn Cycles already, they're part of the rider firm. And now the rider firm has its finger in a lot of different pies when it comes to the bike world. So they're the guys behind Privateer Bikes. Um, so that's the new 161, which is a super progressive bike with almost unbelievable price. Um, they've also just bought out an E161 with a new Shimano EP8 motor. And the news is that was up on our site. So if you wanna know more about that bike, go over to our site and check that out. They also Hunt Wheels, which you'll have definitely heard of. So Hunt Wheels have risen quite quickly to be a really well-known brand of doing great wheels at reasonable prices. The last thing that they've got um, under their hat is Descent 133 gloves. So there's reviews on Road TC of those gloves. But less about what else the Rider Firm does and more about that new e-gravel bike. So the Cairn e-Adventure V2 builds, unsurprisingly, on the first version of the bike. It's got a Fazua Evasion drive system and it's an e-bike built for big days of adventuring off-road. And all that stuff stays the same. With version one out of the way, Mike and Matt say they realised the improvements that they needed to make for V2 and have gone about sorting them out for the 2021 bike. So, new things for 2021. Well, they include different cable routing, repositioning of the Fazua remote, plus removing the seat save brace. There's also a lowered standover and there's loads of updates to the spec. But before I get into all of that, I'll tell you a bit more about the e-graveler itself. The Cairn e-Adventure is a lightweight electric gravel bike. It's built to run with or without that Fuzua motor, and can say it's built for multi-day epic trips, weekend exploring, or commuting. They're keeping things simple with two builds, and that's a great idea. There's a more all-road 700C version with larger wheels, Vittorio Torino Dry 38C tires, Ritchie bars, and a fixed carbon seat post. Then there's a 650B version, which gets 650B wheels, chunkier Vittoria Mezzacal tires and Ken flared bars, and there's a dropper post too. The theme is clear, 700C for mile munching, 650B for rising single track, and both come in at 2989 for pretty much the same spec. So that is an alloy frame, carbon fork, Hunt gravel X wide rims with E gravel hubs, uh, Praxis Fazua crank set, and then a Shimano GRX group set. So what about those changes? Well, first up, there's changes to the frame. There's a lower standover, which opens the bike up to smaller riders. It also means that the bike has a shorter seat tube, which gives more room for dropper posts or leaves more of your seat posts sticking out of the frame, which will lead to more compliance. Next up is the revised cable routing. So the cables now enter the bike on the down tube rather than through the head tube. It totally cleans the look of the bike up and it looks neater. So the cables flow into the down tube rather than sort of being squashed and folded up to enter at the head tube. Interestingly, on the new frame, the rear seat stay bridge has been removed. So you can still run mud guards because it's now been replaced with a removable bridge that's attached just on one side. So you can adjust that for height or take it off if you're not running mud guards. So Matt at Cairn says that this helps increase the compliance too and is dead easy to remove if the rider doesn't want it. So the last thing that's updated on this bike is the position of the Fazua remote. So that's a little integrated remote which is touch sensitive and previously was located on the top of the down tube. So Cairn have moved this to the top of the top tube which makes much more sense and you can see it and get to it easily. And then they said to me that they first put it on the upper side of the down tube so it doesn't get in the way of bags or top tube bags but 
found that it was hard to see, hard to reach, and riders would rather see the lights and the battery and, and what mode they're in than have that top tube bag there. So they've popped it on the top tube and made it a load easier to access. So that's it for the frame. Elsewhere there's spec updates. So the bike uses the new-ish Shimano GRX group set, which the brands say they wanted to use as it's the only really gravel specific group set out there. And they prefer it to something that's a bit road orientated, but obviously still used for gravel like SRAM Apex. The bikes also get the new Hunt e-gravel disc wheels with 25mm internal width and a steel axle for longevity. The wheels are built around Hunt's e-gravel hub where the free hub has a bigger surface engagement at the pulls to deal with the increase in torque, which all sounds like great ideas. Finally, the bike with its Fazua motor benefits from the recent Black Pepper updates that we also explained in our Kinesis first ride. These updates allow the rider to have much more control over how the motor performs and Ken have utilised this further by creating a specific Ken tune which you can use to set up your new mic and get the most out of it according to the experts at Ken. It's a good idea I reckon as a Fasua computer software can be confusing and intimidating or just plain time consuming if you're one of those riders that just wants to get out and ride. There's not too much else you need to know really, only that the brand sell extra batteries and a Ken battery keg. So if you wanted to carry another spare one kilo battery inside the front triangle of the bike for even longer range, you can. That battery costs 399 and the keg and its attachments cost 32 quid. Today, the 4th of September is the launch day of the bikes and they're available for pre-order. So you'll need 299 pound deposit to secure one. And then the cost of the bike is 2989 minus your deposit. Mike says you can expect delivery of the bike at Christmas, where on arrival, all you'll need to do is put the front wheel in, put the bars on, and you'll be ready to ride. They include a small assembly tool in the box, and Mike says they'll have a video soon with all the info of how to build it up if you're not sure. As I said at the start, Matt Page, our reviewer, will have a bike in for review shortly. So Matt's ridden a load of other e-gravel bikes and normal gravel bikes for us, and so he's best placed to review this bike. If you want to know more and look at those photos again of the Ken E adventure, then head over to www.off.road.cc now and there's a first look on the site. As ever, I am going to plug our YouTube channel, so if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and let us know what you thought. We're always, always, always really interested to know what you think of eGravel and also if you've got one, what you're riding and where you're riding it. So let us know all that in the comments. The last thing that I want to plug is please subscribe to the channel. And if you like us and you've subscribed, then make sure you turn on those alerts so you get notified every time that we do a new video. I think that's everything. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time.